Okay, so it's Joe here for Joyrider TV. Today we are going to look at points of sale and sale setting. Uh, this, although we're using Hobie 16s here, this is the same in theory for most types of catamaran. So upwind sailing means sailing the boat towards the wind. So if we were sailing here between the white mark and the red mark, we'd have to sail in one direction and then turn the boat through 90 degrees using a tack and then sail in the other direction to get to the red buoy. Sailing half wind or a beam reach, all we have to do is aim the boat at where we want to go, trim the sails accordingly and off we go. And then on the downwind point of sail or on the broad reach, if we want to get to our downwind objective, which here is the white buoy, we have to sail in one direction downwind and then jibe the boat and then sail in the other direction to get to where we want to go. I'm going to start off by talking about the downhaul. If we don't have any downhaul on, the sail will be shapeless and won't work particularly well. So we have to pull a small amount of downhaul on before we can do anything, which we've done already. And then with the downhaul, as the wind increases, generally speaking, we're just gonna pull the downhaul on harder. In about force three, we're gonna have the downhaul pretty much on full. So for upwind sailing, if we're not overpowered at all, we'll bring the traveller into the middle and then with the main sheet we're going to bring the sheet in tight about there this is our general sailing for upwind in light winds if we start getting overpowered then what we can do on the 16 is if we're overpowered all the time we can let the traveller out so that then we can achieve a tight main sheet in that position if we're still overpowered with the main sheet and traveller in that position, we can let the traveller out further. So this would be in about a force three, force four, maybe more, depends on how much crew weight you have. And then we'll pull the main sheet in tight in that position. What we're doing is we're setting the traveller and then we're using the main sheet to respond to any small differences in the wind strength. Note that it will always be the main sheet that will stop you from capsizing and not the traveller. The traveller will just make the boat generally easier to sail by having it in the right position. On the reach or half wind, we'll start with the traveller a little bit out we'll just play the main sheet so that the telltales on the mainsail are set correctly like with the upwind if we have too much power we'll set the traveler further out so that our general amount of power that we have is less On the downwind or the broad reach in light winds, we're going to have the traveller about two thirds of the way out and then the main sheet quite slack. And this will stay the same for pretty much all wind strengths. We're putting the jib traveller in pretty much the same spot as the main traveller. So if the main traveller is in all the way, then the jib traveller will be in. If the main traveller is halfway out, then we'll pull the jib traveller halfway out. If the main traveller is all the way out, then the jib traveller will be all the way out. If we're setting the jib traveller because it's windy, so if we're, for example, on an upwind point of sail with the main traveller halfway out, we'll put the jib traveller all the way out. If we're setting the jib traveller to D power by putting it out, We'll put, always put it out a bit more than the main traveller. And then with the jib sheet for upwind light wind, we'll have the jib in tight. As the wind increases, bringing the traveller out and then having the jib in tight in that position. On the reach, 
we'll set the jib halfway out and we'll just play the sheet according to the telltales. Then on the broad reach or downwind, we'll have the jib all the way out and pretty loose. We might even hold the jib out with our hand on the broad reach in light winds. If the telltales on both sides of the sail are flying straight backwards, that means we have a good flow of air over both sides of the sail. We can use the jib telltales in two ways. On an upwind course, we'll pull the jib in tight and then sail the boat by watching the telltales. The other way is on a course which isn't upwind, so any other course, we'll use the telltales to tell us how much to pull the sail in. So if the outside telltale isn't flying, we let the sail out. If the inside telltale isn't flying, we pull the sail in. If we're steering the boats with the telltales, if the outside telltale isn't flying, we turn the boat towards the wind. And if the inside telltale isn't flying, we sail the boat further away from the wind. The inside telltale lifting is an early sign of the jib flapping. So here we are, we're looking at the wind indicators. We just used some videotape tied to the bridle wires on the boat. So we'll use the wind indicators primarily for downwind sailing. And what we're looking for when we're sailing downwind is the wind indicator flying straight across the boat like this. So that indicates that we are sailing the boat as far downwind as possible but still using the airflow over both sides of the sail when sailing without a spinnaker. If this comes further forwards, it means the wind is too far from behind, so we can steer the boat closer to the wind. If it comes too far backwards, it means we're sailing too close to the wind, so we have to turn the boat more downwind. If we're sailing with wind at this angle and we get hit by a gust, the speed of the boat will increase this will come back, which means we have to turn more downwind when we get hit by a gust on the downwind point of sail. We can also use these wind indicators when we're sailing upwind or reaching. If the wind is very light and we're not getting much information from the jib, then if we have the wind indicator generally at the same angle as the bottom of the jib, then we know we're in the right arena of the angle at which we should be steering the boat. What we do is on an upwind point of sail, we'll steer the boat by watching the telltales on the jib. On a beam reach, we'll just pick a fixed point, sail to that and then adjust the sails accordingly. And on the downwind or broad reach, we'll be using these wind indicators to determine the angle which we are going to steer. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope this has been informative. Thanks again to all my patrons for supporting the channel. If you want to get involved, just check out the link below. We'll see you soon. Thank you.